everyone. But today I'll give you an idea of what to do it with. A ball. I'm pretty sure that you have all got some balls, different shapes, different sizes kicking around in the house. It's really uh, important for little ones especially to explore different sizes and shapes of balls. So if you've got bobbly balls or soft squidgy balls, then get them out and you just have as much fun as you would with something hard like this. Uh, footballs are really solid and uh, shouldn't be encouraged to use for the wee ones for kicking but we're going to use everything for rolling purposes or jumping or balancing the bees today. So a couple of ideas what can we do with a, a ball uh, for tots? Well we can get them to roll the ball backwards and forwards so simply by facing each other again sitting in a nice straddle position you want to encourage just to roll the ball so don't sit too far apart you want to push the ball away roll it backwards and forwards and they really enjoy that so rolling backwards and forwards pushing the ball a great one for them to keep their attention especially if they're really young is to make a slide so to make a slide to roll your ball down bring your knees together and put your ball at the top of your knees and let it roll down and then they will have great fun. You can let them have a wee go as well. So the struggle, bring them up onto your knee and then just simply do the same together. So their knees, your knees, hold it there and let them roll the ball away. We're going to let it roll. Another wee idea that we can do with balls is get them, if you have a big enough ball, especially if you've got a fitness ball, Get the little ones to lie on top of the ball and you can roll them backwards and forwards and they will really enjoy this. Fitness balls are fantastic for that. I don't have one in the garden. I'm just for a demonstration showing you how to do that. So you can roll backwards and forwards. And the big fitness ball, you can sit on it and you can bounce them. So you can bounce them up and down. If they're a wee bit older, they might be able to stand up. So you can stand them on the ball and then they've got a little bit of balance. And it's not very good for this to stand on, but you can get the idea by that. Again, if you have a small tennis ball or a soft tennis ball, you might want to incorporate throwing and catching. So again, sit on your knee if they're not managing to catch. Little small throw so with your tennis ball, little throw and catch. Or if they're a wee bit older, you might want to turn around and face each other and then you can throw and catch a ball. Okay, um, just a few ideas what to do with a, a ball with the little ones. Hope to see you soon. Bye.